Hey, I'm doing a separate kind of one-off video to explain a bit how we convert from Infix, the user input, to RPN. Uh, this is within the context of AQA target clear, but that applies across the board. Um, let me just transition, not in that way, uh, and get myself a browser window. Uh, that's explained on uh, the first Google result. <laughs> for conversion from Infix to RPN is Geek, Geeks for Geeks, which is a pretty good site. Um, you can find a reference there, but let, let me just show, I'm gonna use a little trace table. I've got the trace, we've had the brackets first, and in Visual Studio, I can have a little plugin that will allow me to edit, edit CSV files in a nice spreadsheet stack, um, spreadsheet style editor. So, <clears throat> my Infix expression, let's do something without brackets. Um, for now, which is how the code currently works. The current version of convert convert to RPN as it's like uh, the, uh, yeah, this is the very same. Yeah, still still here. Right, this function, <laughs> yeah. uh, but like what this does here and this operators. Um, so this is the this is my third column in the spreadsheet. And the operators is the stack. I mean, kind of like, why am I close to, close some, uh, stack real, real quick, close some extra win, extra tabs in my, yeah. The reason I'm doing this video is that doing the brackets is kind of tricky enough. So I want to make a separate video just for like, re-explain how the stack works. Um, right, I come in with that new row, yeah. I'm going to remove things as I read them from the input. So now I I have essentially just this. I, any operand, I put straight into the postfix expression. Whereas operators, like this plus here, I push onto the stack. With, with some caveats, the caveats being that um, add a row, so read the two, that, that becomes multiply three minus four, one, two, and plus and then another row and now i'm going to push i'm pushing the star onto the stack because it has a higher precedence than the plus so your stack should always look like in order of, of increasing precedence because when you uh convert an, op an, an expression like this one right from infix to postfix you are always going to find whichever actually format you go into infix the operands are going to be in the same order that conserves this whereas the operators they're all going to be at the end and they will um, will they be yeah they will they will be in in decreasing order of precedence because naturally there's no you know the the, the bottom mass takes over here so the star is always going to be done before the plus and minus in our postfix so the symbol is going to be before it because we're going to do the multiply first so this is three minus four and i still got one two i'm, I'm going to kind of like not change uh yeah if it's empty it doesn't change right like the rules as it as per trace tables uh i know can i just do no i just there's no shortcut for the row um minus four still still the same um where was i just wait maybe i should have uh what i'm doing there this is plus star now i'm reading the minus this is where it gets interesting because the star is a higher let me just uh, hide all of that stuff the star as a multiplier is a higher order of precedence over subtraction meaning that we are going to push it onto the postfix expression pop it out of the stack and put it onto the postfix expression um, before before putting before pushing the operator we have just read onto the stack. This mean this makes sure that we preserve the order of that should be increasing order of more or less order of operation. The plus and minus are the same, so we can have prioritized in the way they come. Um, and then the final one is yeah we move the four so there's nothing there. Uh, this becomes one two three four star. And then once you have finished reading the infix expression at the input, you just pop uh, the operators out of the stack and add them and onto the postfix expression. Meaning we, oh, very last will be this, and then we'll have nothing, we'll have nothing, and one, two, three, four, star plus 
No, one, two, star, one, two, three, star. Ooh, <laughs> obviously. Ah, oh, just if I get that wrong, it's just uh, not a very good. Uh, not doing a very good job there. I'm getting the count is. Want to put the four after one, two, three, star four plus minus. That's the post phase expression, right? stack it gets popped i'm not kind of drawing a little stack like that but you know can we put them and then when we read when we get the star on top of the stack um you'll see a lot of that in the so when you see operator my operator uh, op operators plural minus one it's uh where's my original i made that too big um when you see operators yeah this is like the last item in the operators data structure in the list, right? Meaning, meaning that's the one at the very end. That's that's what we pop. So what this should really be, and kind of like we should put this in here because that returns the thing. This is as if accessing this index is like doing a, a peak operation. So that's my trace. Sorry, yeah, the editor uh, is a separate makes a copy of the CSV. So if I save it here, I have my CSV here. Not very helpful in CSV. That's my trace of. Infix to postfix, no bracket. Now, when we have brackets like in this, uh, edit CSV, excellent. When I've got, let me just like, why well, make some lots of room in advance? Brackets, super simple. When I encounter an open bracket, I put it onto the stack, which is fortuitous because this is like exactly how the expression starts here. So, um, oof. Right, so I push my I push an opening bracket onto the stacks. I'm still moving the I'm still like moving upper rounds, moving the numbers straight to um, the postfix expression. Uh, operators I keep pushing onto the stack, meaning that now I've got two close bracket star, open bracket, etc. Push the operator onto the stack. This is still one. I don't have to change it. Um, upper rounds. Yeah, we're gonna like keep going there. That's not changed. I've got one, two here, and then when I read a close bracket, that means the close bracket needs we want this expression evaluated before we start doing other things. There, that means I'm going to pop everything out of the stack of operators until I find the opening bracket. So that was that means I'm mm, I've read it. I'm not doing anything. I'm not uh, discarding the close bracket, and then the star's going to move. The, we pop the star out of that stack, and we put into the postfix expression. Oh no, the plus. What have I done? I've messed this up. Haven't I Oof, again. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right. I should be paying more attention. I'm popping the plus, and I. I'm appending it to the um, postfix output. And having done this, I will also discard discard the opening bracket. So the opening bracket is just a marker in the stack. It needs to not be handled like an operator. We shouldn't finish, we shouldn't have any brackets in the final op operation, which as we'll see is going to be a, a bit of a problem um, in some cases. Now, I what, what I, I have now is uh, I reading an operator, meaning I push it onto the stack. I'm reading an opening bracket, meaning I also push it onto the stack. And then three, again, minus four, close bracket, minus four, close bracket. Um, this is the same. And so I had one, two plus all the way through, right? And now this becomes one, two plus three. Then the operators, uh, take this. Oh, okay. This we can type four close bracket. Now I've got stack, but I push mm, and I push on top of it the minus. Then this doesn't change. Then I read the four, which this doesn't change. But I'm just going to copy it because it feels like we kind of need it more. I'm happy with having gaps in the the output because we know that kind of we always build. It's always kind of you know built on top of the previous one. Whereas because the stack goes up and down, then I'm kind of, I'd rather, you know, kind of duplicate it. Ah, I should have more rows. Um, the four, yeah, the four is an upper round. It goes straight into the final expression. And here I'm reading a close bracket, which means I need to pop out all of the stuff from 
from the stack until I encounter the matching opening one. By the way, matching brackets is going to be something we need to do when validating the expression as well. That's uh, the further is like a subtask for the for the bracket um, task. Yeah, it's a stinker, right? For mine, I'm missing the free, right? Maybe I should copy everything because I'm not paying again, not paying enough attention. Uh, was free for minus discard the um, opening bracket that was just a marker of the beginning of the high priority of evaluation expression and now finished reading the input the infix expression and then i'm just kind of popping all of the operators from the stack onto the postix expression and that's one two plus three four minus three four minus star Ta-da! Okay, so that's how we do it. I'm going to keep those trace tables because I think I might refer to them when I'll do the next video, which is going to be the actual task about adding brackets, which, yeah, has caused me significant amount of, of trouble. But I think I get it. There's a number of gotchas. Anyway, I'll see you for the next video when we actually do the bracket. But that was the how do we convert. And that's following exactly the geeks. Geeks for geeks. Um, ex yeah, I mean, that's a good tutorial to be as in so many ways, but like, yeah, 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 this is illustrated in the way that you could hope. I don't know if they get an illustration of the brackets. Yeah, they don't kind of. Does this, I don't know, does this handle brackets? Wow, this is. Here it is. Oh, that's because we decided to break expression. So it does brackets. Aha, yeah, right. So we push it onto the stack and then thing, and when we pop, but this pop, this is not this pop or from the stack is not matched by an append. Whereas like most of them, you can kind of append what you pop. You reap what you sow and you append what you pop. All right, thank you. Uh, I'll see you soon for the actual. I should have done that to camera. I'm getting there for the um, brackets task. It's going to be a fun one. <laughs>